Hi everybody, good morning, it's Susan. We're getting close to Christmas. It's December 20th, 2010. And I wanted to share with you another project that I had made using the flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. This is actually going to be a Christmas gift and I was really thinking about doing something just a little bit different than the norm. Um, a lot of projects that I make, I usually incorporate a lot of gold because I just love um, the way that it looks. It looks vintage, it looks Victorian, and that's kind of my style. But I also do really love and appreciate anything that I see that's shabby chic. And I'm hoping that someday my craft room will either be extremely vintage Victorian slash uh, old-fashioned looking or all shabby chic white um, whitewashed. So anyway, I'm getting to this project. This is a box that I have purchased in the craft store. It is a small box and just to show you um, that I had used uh, the papers from Tim Holtz. Um, these are such beautiful papers. I didn't even want to cut into it. I don't know if you ladies ever feel like that. I also used um, some of the um, Aileen's Mod Podge uh, glue uh, to put these papers in. And if you can see that I had gotten all four sides all the way around. And some sides where it wasn't exactly flush perfect, I just used a little bit of um, white dauber paint and this other paint that I have, I forgot who makes it, Making Memories, it's like a, a, a pearlized white. Um, and I just dab that in the corners, kind of make it messy a little bit to give it that whitewash, vintagey, old shabby kind of look. And um, I had put the papers as well on the inside on all four corners and the bottom. And everything is very secure. I had to take off the, uh, the hardware to make sure that everything was covered properly. And um, as you can see here on the bottom, I added legs, but I had also added um, a little um, French sticker just to give it that kind of feel that it may have come from another place <laughs> aside here in the USA because this is a gift. And all four sides on the outside, including the sides of the top of the box, however, the very top of the box was only painted because I knew that I was going to be covering them with these beautiful flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, the green leaf that you see in the background um, was actually one of my green leaves, but everything else here, including the lace, um, uh, the embellishments are from Wild Orchid Crafts, and this was so pretty. I wanted to put down a small piece of lace in the front to kind of give it like that little bit of a a crown effect there. And I what I had done to get it like that, I had just gathered a few um, about uh, three inches of the lace, and then cut off the gathering piece and glued it down. Everything's glued with a glue gun. And these lovely blue, these lovely blue flowers, the roses, they're just so gorgeous. The white ones, I mean, they're are so easy to work with too and because they are such a great quality and they're stiff they're not flimsy that when you press down on them to make sure they stick to your project they don't like break in half and sometimes you have to take it off and fix the flower nope these are beautiful to work with I just love it and in the center I used a one inch stick pin that you can buy in a fabric store uh, that you would use for hemming so on that one I put a gold bead on top and a uh, Shawaski crystal in the middle and um, another gold bead and way at the bottom of it which you can't see another tinier Shawaski crystal and all around um, the box is just scattered various glass pearls that are um, the colors between off blue like a faint blue and a baby pink and a white and a cream so they all coordinate nicely with each other and that was my goal in this I wanted to make sure that I can um, you know have all of my embellishments coordinate well with each other and um, again um, this this box it's like a lot of times you'll see me working with um, the beiges, the creams, the browns, the mauves, the burgundies and um, I love those colors and this time um, I was like okay I have the paper pack from um, Tim Holtz and um, just in case you ladies uh, some of you may not know which one it is um, the one that I used was this one right here 
okay? And it's the paper stash called Vintage Shabby. And when I was looking at that, I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not going to make this gold. I'm going to make this, um, the, the um, foundation of it to be white. And um, it is just a, I used the white dauber ink and just, you know, scattered around brushing it with a sponge. I was just little dabs here and there of that pearlized white paint. So it kind of really gave it a nice um, rustic kind of look in a way, but in a white form. And if you could see closely here, I did it on all of the edges in white. I even splattered a piece right there. Um, and it really, really came out nice. Um, even me here, I'm doing it right here, and, and there's a seam right here where I had to match off the, the paper, and you know what? It, it didn't even matter because it blended in so well with the glue, you, you really can't even see it. And I am actually have a piece of lace here with some um, satin just to give it a, a nice presentation online. And, um, you know, this can be used for anything, really. I mean, um, a, this friend of mine will probably put this at her bedside if I know her or maybe in her living room and it's really a nice little substantial size box to put in some rings or a couple of bracelets a necklace just to like you know when you go to bed at night or you're washing dishes and you want to take it off right away and put it somewhere where you'll know where it is instead of going to this huge big jewelry box and finding a place for your rings um, this is definitely a nice piece and also a conversation piece and if you can see the um, wire stems of the flowers are also substantial. They're not flimsy and thin wires like a lot of the other flowers that you see. They are a heavy flower with like almost like a paper wrapping on that. I just can't make out what it is and I decided that not to cut that off but to keep it and just uh, wire it around the wider part of my brush so that the the coil is not so tiny and tight and then I wouldn't be able to stretch it out it'll look too close like with this one right here so I hope you like this box and you should try it yourself uh, the supplies that you need it's really very simple you'll need a wooden box or paper mache you'll need a screwdriver to take off your hardware you'll need the Aileen's um, uh, Mod Podge or any other kind of Mod Podge that would adhere paper. You'll need your paper selection, whatever designer paper you choose, unless you just keep you, you paint your box. It's up to you. You'll need a paint, and for this one, you'll need the white dauber ink and um, white pearlized paint by uh, Making Memories. Um, and um, and last but not least, you will need your flowers from uh, www.wildcrafts wildorchidcrafts.com and um, you, there's a large selection of flowers there. Um, don't be afraid when you get online you see the uh, top as uh, sterling pounds for the, the currency. There's a drop down box there and you can shop basically anywhere. You can use your regular credit card or you can have a PayPal account whichever suits your need. Um, Paul and Siri are really great over there so go and check them out and make a box for yourself and share it with me. And if I don't speak to any Anybody. Um, this is December 20th. Have a very Merry Christmas and enjoy the rest of the holiday. May all your dreams come true. Mostly all of you happiness and health and a joyous season wishes to you and your family. And I just want to say to all of my dear friends uh, that I speak to uh, and um, uh, you guys over at A Little Scrap of Heaven, I know that I've been kind of distanced, just that I had a lot going on with the Christmas holiday and other things coming up. So, um, you know, I love you guys and, and thank you so much for always commenting on my video and have a Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye.